out right there is good thanks appreciate it now take care thank you that was the UPS guy oh been looking forward to this for a little while now UPS was here you were talking to him. I, I'm Arnie and this is Rad Rover Way and we talk Rad Rovers and we talk rides and we talk gear and I've got a little bit of gear today. Something you may or may not have any interest in, but I sure do. Let's take my handy dandy Stanley Fat Max here and just dive into this. I don't, I haven't even ever done an unboxing on this channel, have I? It's not something I'm really into. But this is, I'm so excited about this. It just, this is from Burley. They're a, they've been around a long time, since 1978, and they make trailers and that kind of stuff for bicycles. And that's what we have today. We have the Burley Travoy. And this is something that I have been interested in for quite some time, and I finally went ahead and did it. I've been wanting to uh, do more grocery shopping and that kind of stuff um, with the bike, with the Rover, and I have done it, but it really makes the bike really wobbly when I load up the front basket and the back, so I thought I'd give this a try, and it looks promising. So let's kind of dive in here and see what we've got. First, we've got a bag that has some straps in it, and what looks to be the, yeah, it's the hitch it attaches to the bike and we have two wheels that's convenient and useful yep and we have the ever-present instruction packet and a registered product online and Last but not least is the Travoy itself. This is the 2020 model. So if you decide this is something you want, you need to pay attention because of the, the new one, the 2020, and the older version, which for all I can tell works fine, but and uh, you might want to go with it and save yourself a couple of bucks, but I liked some of the new things they did um, in my research. I liked some of the new things that they did to this. First being this little foot that folds out. It's a U-shape. I don't know if you can tell that in the camera. The previous iteration of this had a simple one leg sticking out here. Worked, but this is going to be a little bit more stable. Notice also that it has little reflector tail lights. That's very cool. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Just pull that down. Oh, another thing that I liked about this compared to the uh, original model is the, these side mm, fenders, I'll call them. In the previous, in the first iteration of this uh, Travoy, they didn't have this. This was an extra. And I read where people were having a hard time. They would put the, their goods, their bag here, whatever, and it would rub against the wheels and rub a hole in it. You had to buy these extra to protect your stuff from getting worn from the wheels. That's another reason I spent the extra couple of bucks to get this particular one because it had these fenders, for lack of a better term. And then we want to turn the handle, this yellow handle here, turn it and it releases the second level, if you will. So now we've got the base, we've got this back here, 
we've got this uh, also back that kind of is at a little bit of an angle. I don't know if that goes at a different angle. No, it's either folded down or up like that. And last but not least is the third level, I guess we'll call it. And it also turns, there's this that yellow handle, it turns and releases, boom. This works as a handle to make this into a push cart or a pull cart, whatever you want. That's very cool. Now, last but not least, this also extends a little bit, making it a little bit easier to attach to your bike. This is going to be the test. When I get around to putting it on the bike, is that going to be long enough? It doesn't look like it. Even with this thing all the way out, am I going to be able to clear the rack on the back of the rover and attach to that? I'm not sure. I did, however, purchase another little thing that allows me to put the uh, hitch on the rack. And I'll have all of this much more in detail when I actually uh, assemble it all and attach it to the rack. Uh, that isn't in my plans today, because I want to do a ride and everything with it on that particular one. But this is, this is looking really, really good. And before I leave you today, we're going to take the wheels out of the plastic. These are pneumatic, by the way. There's a tube in there. So you can, you know, lower the pressure, raise the pressure, whatever you want to do. I think, let's see where it says what the pressure is. Um, Pressure 35 psi, max pressure 45 psi. These guys, you'll notice it has a little yellow knob here. It's not really a knob, it's a push button. You push that in, and it allows you to mount the wheels. Let me take this foam off of here easily. Just push them in, push that yellow in insert the wheel, and it's secured. I'm tickled. Let me get the other one. Put it on also. Push the yellow button, slide it in, release it, and boom, it's there. How cool is that? I just can't wait to give this a try. Now, you're thinking probably, well, what about storage? That's another reason I bought this, is because I don't have a lot of room. I've got a two-car garage, but it's filled up with stuff, like for most of us, two cars, the, the rads, and everything else. So, take the wheels off, place them here, Fold this guy up. There's a cable here that you got to pull. There. No, that's not it. There it is. Pull it up. It releases it and allows it to come fold back in on itself. Turn these guys. That takes up no space at all to store. And this is light. When the box first arrived, my wife picked it up. She didn't realize what it was, and it was no problem at all. Can you believe this? Tickle, tickle, tickle. All right. For today, that's it. Tune in next time. I'll have it all set up. I'll have the bag on. By the way, this bag attaches with those straps that I was mentioning, so that you could put a bunch of stuff in it, uh, you know, groceries and that kind of stuff. And I, I actually have a second bag coming that goes on that top part. So, 
looking forward to using this. Hey, if you like this, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Share it. Leave a comment. All of that good stuff. Hey, before I go, a lot of crazy stuff happening. Take care of yourself. Enjoy a bike ride. Best way to do social distancing, I've heard. Talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by.